Jacks and Girls and Happy Halloween or let's say Happy October because it's the October 2nd and we're on the second video of the 31 stories to Halloween and today we we'll talk about Richard Lehman and I know this is two novels of his uh, The Woods Are Dark and Out Are The Lights but Out Are The Lights comes with some short stories at the end and I haven't reviewed this book yet I've read it uh, 10 years ago I believe and I was not that impressed by it I think I should give it a uh, reread and do a review then because I was not um, the story didn't vibe with me all right however there was this short story at the end of the book called the tub that I absolutely loved and let me tell you about it first of all it's a Richard Lehman story and nobody gets raped so that's uh, that's a big plus it's something that doesn't happen too often, right? So we have this very simple premise. There's this woman, Joyce, who is uh, very beautiful, and she's married to a weakling, uh, Harold, who is a horror author. And um, you know how authors can be, horror authors can be, right? Uh, he is a weird guy. He even bought uh, an ugly bathtub that is uh, atrocious and he bought it because it belonged to an actress that, that cut her wrists inside it so his ghoulish interests in the morbid and macabre and all of that uh, made him buy it and put it in their bathroom and Joyce won't take it uh, at the start of the story Harold is on New York he was a nominee for the Bram Stoker Awards, so Joyce finds the opportunity to call her lover Ken. Ken is not a midget weakling like Harold, uh, he is a bodybuilder. And he, she invites him there and decides that yes, I hate Harold, I hate the bathtub, so I'm fucking my lover inside the bathtub. He sets the uh, mood. Uh, she lights candles, she goes into the bathtub, she fills it and goes in there and waits for her lover to come. Uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, very sensual descriptions of what she's doing as uh, she's preparing that because it's, real, it's Richard Lehman and Richard Lehman's stories, all the women are horny bombshells and Ken comes in, she invites him into the tub. There's a, you know what, it's what I like about the story up to this point is how alive it feels, how descriptive and, live and lifelike it feels, how small sentences are used to set up the scene and um, some clever use of dialogue is setting everything up, information are being given in a very good pace. And of course there is this gorgeous naked woman who is there and yeah what's not to enjoy i can appreciate good writing when i see it and actually this kind of reminds me uh, i think that juan from plagued by, Vis by visions was uh, commenting that he read a book by Richard Lehman. he said that it felt like he was reading under romance and also lydia beaver of typical books was saying that she had a senior woman, I think she was a cousin of hers or the wife of a cousin of hers or something, you know, recall right now, and she didn't read horror but she was an avid uh, Richard Lehman fan. And yeah, I can see, reading the story, I can see why there's this similarity between romance and, hard, and Richard Lehman. Uh, his writing is on that vein only uh, horrible things happen but yeah it's very well written it's a very well written story you can get the characters right on uh, you can see why um, Joyce is like that and you know what <laughs> you can feel for her uh, she's a gorgeous woman she's married to somebody who is weird uh, not that attractive and um, yes she just wants a beefy big man to pound her into the tub I would say that we've all been there so uh, Ken comes into the bathtub and uh, they have sex, uh, of course there is a bit of an issue because the tub is a bit tight and it's not comfortable and there's water in there so if Ken goes on uh, Joyce then he will drown her 
uh, so they leave uh, they pull the tub out of the bathtub and um, the water starts uh, going out of course uh, Joyce rides Ken and as they are in the bathtub they fall and Joyce wakes up uh, let's see her scene is uh, above water so she's still breathing but Ken is face down and moving because he's dead he's dead he's on and he's on top of her he's a big man she's a small woman and she's pinked under him and it's Friday afternoon and Harold returns on Sunday. So yes, the story is about a woman trapped under a dead man in a bathtub and spending a weekend there. And the way that it's written, how what Joyce is thinking, how she's feeling, it's horrifying. I mean, the idea of that, just imagine being pinned by a corpse naked in, the, in a bathtub and being unable to get out. And she's uh, going mad, she... Um, there is suspense in the story. The story is suspenseful because it's, you know, it will happen to nicer people, of course, uh, because he's a meathead bodybuilder and says uh, cheating wife. But at the same time, you can feel for them. You have known Joyce and how she thinks and why she's doing what she's doing. And you may think, yeah, I mean, uh, why not? Uh, why not do that? Uh, but then she's trapped and... Um, Oh well, uh, she's waiting for her husband to return to save her. But will she return time? And there is suspense, and of course there is a there is a bit of gore, and a twist ending at the end of it. Of the story, I won't spoil it for you. But yes, it was a very fun story, very entertaining story. I believe uh, you should read. It's fun. It's very light. It's not too horrifying. Uh, there's a lot of sexy fun in the first part of it um, so yeah what's not to enjoy if you like Richard Lehman uh, it's definitely one of the best um, of his best short stories I've read um, the other stories in this collection I cannot recall right now all right uh, this book um, but I don't think they were something to write home about so yeah the tab is definitely a story I suggest you read because it's fun unlike some of the stories that come on the next days because some of them are nasty nasty short stories and grim and gritty or funny or whatever but no spoilers just press the like button subscribe so you can see when it's coming the next one's coming out or maybe hit the bell if you want to get to the video right the moment it is uh, published and I'll see you soon thank you for watching and stay spooky